Good morning, everyone. This is Tim from the Word of Life Church. Uh, wanted to come on and uh, do a, a news update video uh, <clears throat> with all the things going on. I decided at least I need to come on at least once a day to kind of uh, uh, bring everybody up to date about some of the stuff that's uh, on the wires that's coming down today. Uh, really, yesterday, of course, was one of the more serious ones we talked about. Uh, uh, getting uh, getting your funds out of the uh, out of banks because I mean it's uh, the uh, economy is uh, it's and there's not I know there's a lot of fear about it and there and there's reasons they want to cause the elite want to cause fear in people uh, but there too when it happens it's going to happen so uh, I hope everyone has cool heads about it and will uh, have and might be able to come up with a, some kind of a plan uh, for a, a a quick exit strategy just in case if they're if you're able to do that uh, you know I never want to put anything on just to purposely scare anybody or or worry anybody all I'm doing is trying to uh, just bring to you the things that are uh, you know that people are reporting on uh, that a lot of times you know as we've talked about the mainstream media does not report on and. Uh, uh, not not allowed to report on rather so uh, at any rate uh, nothing this this morning or overnight really uh, about the uh, other than the you know Dow Jones uh, being down uh, let's see this is later on down the list but uh, find it again here um, I apologize I'm, I'm blind this morning I can't see uh, here it is okay let's see uh, other than the uh, everyone knows about the uh, uh, the closure of uh, a lot of the Walmart stores uh, I believe it was uh, I believe the number was either 154 or 164 stores that were being closed and uh you know around uh the uh, the num first number i saw was around ten thousand people that was going to be affected due to those closures uh so that's you know that's never good when a large chain like that that's a definite sign right there that a lot that something is going on that a large chain like that can shut down stores like that and uh, you know lay off that many people that's uh that's a serious thing. That's not just one or two stores, uh, you know. That that's just not making any money, and you know we've got to shut them down because they're costing the company money. That's, you know, that's over a hundred, you know, hundred fifty-four. I believe I'm pretty sure it was hundred fifty-four stores cutting, cutting them down, you know, and cutting out ten thousand people out of their jobs. Uh, so I would classify that a little bit more than just a. Uh, just something to cause people to panic. I mean, that's real. That's happening. So at any rate, as I said yesterday, there was a news article come down that said, you know, right now is the time if you want to, if you want your money, you need to come up with a strategy to get it out of there. That way you'll have it. Uh, and we still don't know exactly at what point after that point um, that uh, the dollar will still be even in play may be devalued to the point that I mean that's no longer you know the other countries that are that are dumping the dollar getting rid of it. you know just dragging them down they're getting rid of it so uh, but at any rate I guess we just deal with one thing at a time uh, and right now is uh, as I said it's probably the best thing to do is come up with like I said a quick exit, exit strategy and uh, as I said uh, let cooler heads prevail don't knee jerk because that causes more problems normally than just if you come up with a calm, cool plan and and handle it and take it in stride. And uh, I, so I believe you know people that uh, people out there they they do. There are some that will knee jerk and panic and pull everything out. And uh, if something is prolonged, <clears throat> doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. But if it's a little bit more prolonged, they're going to start fussing, saying, "Oh, they were wrong. They lied. They missed it." No, you know, <laughs> it's that's not the case. It's <clears throat> if, uh, if a lot of stuff is out there and reported on, then yes, it may prolong something 
a little bit longer because uh, they don't want you to get your funds out of there. They're not going to open the doors and say, "Come in here and get in the safe." You know, let's get let's get let's get your money back and get you back out the door as quick as we can. No, the door is going to be shut, locked, and the security gate pulled down. That's it. So um, at any rate, uh, as a, that's what I said. Nothing really uh, economy-wise in the news. Uh, this morning, and I'm talking about alternative news, uh, except for uh, you know the Dow Jones how it closed and the people you know uh, panicking over that, and it's 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 a bad start to the year for the economy, no no doubt about it whatsoever. So uh, let's uh, excuse me, let's uh, let's start with the first piece right here and. Uh, uh, this is a little controversial. This is where it goes sort of into areas that people are going to say that, that the first thing they hear about is going to say ah, conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy theory. You know, well, a lot of the conspiracy theories that people used things they used to call that are actually known reality at right now. So, um, you know, take these. You know, if you have to take take these news reports to the Lord in prayer and see if He delivers any new messages and any new thoughts, uh, any, any uh, revelations to you, and uh, you know, do your own research. But at any rate, uh, <clears throat> and I've reported on this before. Um, Go ahead and give you the title of the news piece. It says, "Elite are preparing for uprising from the masses." I mean, it's on top of if, if, the, if the economy tanks, uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be an uprising. Uh, martial law will be declared, and uh, it'll be a bad scene, a very bad scene. A leader preparing for the uprising from the masses with global economy in full panic. Uh, more signs they're preparing to move into their underground bunkers. Uh, that is... Uh, there's there's video there's people that actually managed to get to one of the entrance ways to these underground bunkers and showed these trucks i mean semi trucks going i mean there's a wide enough opening and you could see inside that they were going side by side some going in others pulling back out just hauling and bringing stuff in survival stuff in water food and such as that uh that the elite can't afford because you know they they've drained the american uh taxpayers uh till they're bleeding um so you know believe believe that to be a conspiracy if you want i've seen the videos i've seen the photos of what they are uh, and even the bible backs that up it talks about at one point you know the people that are hiding in the rocks and in the caves and uh you know hiding trying to hide from the face of the lord so uh right there is something that's biblically based and you know these uh these I, I, the point i don't go into a lot of that talking about that because some of the stuff follows more over into the uh theoretical areas uh, and you know if you were to say some things then you're going to lose people even though that might be true some people uh wouldn't be ready to hear something like that not because it's so terrifying to, to some people it's stuff is going to be so unbelievable that you know they're grounded looking at the economy and just the normal news and something like that is going to be something that they're going to be like, huh? You know, and just kind of shrug your shoulders at and, you know, not think another thing about it. So at any rate, uh, they are preparing. We've been talking about this. I've been talking about this for quite a while now, uh, about the elite preparing and, uh, you know, storing up their own supplies. Uh, but they've got they've got a definite edge as to where you know they're, they're getting semi trucks full of stuff to store to where they could stay underground in luxury for who knows how long while me and you are up here and we're fighting for uh, survival. Uh, don't think it can happen. You better believe it can happen. If things go exactly the way they're going now, then that is exactly what's going to happen. Hey, we've seen stuff that, that happened overnight uh, that nobody thought would happen. Uh, you know, slaughters, uh, countries killing their own people. Uh, you know, uh, war starting. You know, and that's you know, there's still that's a uh, 
another good possibility that you know that we're going to see uh, before all this and uh, you know this stuff might come back to that we still might see a, um, a third world war there's still a great good possibility about that saying well brother where's that in the where's that in the Bible well there are <laughs> It could be talking about stuff right toward the end, especially in the Book of Revelation, that is going to have to, is going to happen after the point that you know uh, that the the world is so uh, downtrodden and damaged and weak and how many millions of people dead that you know who's not going to look for someone who can give a solution to all things, the Antichrist. So that's a definite possibility of one way they could go. Um, all we can do is keep an eye on it and pray about it, and you know, just we'll have to wait and see what uh, what comes out. Just think, you know, thank the Lord we have a, we have watchmen out there that have uh, inside info and in, intel from uh, multiple sources, uh, and we can get some of this information. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to. I hate to say I have to use the word survive, but you know, that's what we'll have to do if something like that happens. Survive. Uh, you know, I made this statement, uh, and I, I still stick by it. I would almost rather just go ahead and be taken on home with the Lord. That way, I wouldn't have to worry about none of this or none of the, anything after uh, something like that happens. You talk about you talking about horrible. It's uh, and I you, you you can't imagine it, what what something like that would be like. At any rate, let's let's move on. But that's the title, and that's that's pretty much what it's talking about. The uh, the leader preparing, and they're moving everything, and they have been they have been doing this for a long time. I think the video I saw of the trucks going in and out of the underground mountainous area. Uh, it was at least two or three years old so they've been at this for quite a while and they'll be able to live in there actually for a very a very long time uh, but anyway let's move on uh, experts warn Congress attack on power grid could lead to catastrophic civilian casualties well there's several different ways that uh, that that could happen. Definitely a, uh, a a nuclear detonation in orbit. Um, well, Browns just stop working here. Uh, would do that, and uh, you know would uh, would tear down the electrical grid, and uh, you know who's gonna you know you got you gotta, uh, elderly people have got to have heat, got to have food, and uh, well, I mean we all do, but you know. Uh, it's, you know, I apologize, uh, trying to get on this page and talk about that, but for some reason it doesn't want me on there. It keeps crashing me. Uh, but that's something that we've talked about before is, you know, some type of a electromagnetic pulse or something, uh, like we get by a detonation of a, uh, nuclear bomb in orbit. Over a particular city, will will you know shut down the power and you won't be able to get it back up, and uh, you know panic would ensue over that. You know you're going you're going back to you know having the, just nothing. You're in the basic. You're going by candlelight and you know wrapping yourself in blankets and <laughs> it would difference you know during winter time. Uh, that and that's that's another reason I say, uh, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Uh, we don't have to deal with uh, deal with stuff like that. Uh, but even if we have to, you know, like I said, like, like I've I've taught, and preached, and everything. Just we as American Christians, we should not be. Uh, and a lot of people are going to be this way if it happens along those lines. A lot of people, if something happens like that, people are going to blame God, and then the full effect of the falling away of the church is going to start happening because they're going to question why did God let this happen? Where is he? Why didn't he pull us out of here? When you're, you know, when 
you're sitting there with, uh, with an actual fire built trying to cook something or you know you're having to you know you've got a propane small stove that you're trying to cook on candle set up uh, winter time people wrapped up in blankets there is no power there is no more for, you know the, the, everything is dead you're just you know you you can't even get any type of uh, you know radio unless you get one of those wind up power radios to get some kind of signal maybe from outside of uh, the your uh, you know city or uh, maybe if it'll reach if even even work with all the uh, the uh, the EM uh, interference, um, it's a bad, it's be a bad scene. It'd be a bad scene. I I, I know this. All this stuff seems bad, but I just, I've got to. Somebody's got to talk about it and bring it to the forefront and get people thinking about it. I don't. I don't want to be taken unaware. Do you? No, you want to be able to. to repair it come up with some kind of a plan a lot of people are and I know that gets into when you're talking about this stuff that gets in ultimately talking about the whole prepper idea prepping for stuff like that uh, I've, I've been have, I've said it before uh, I haven't really got into the whole talk about the whole idea of prepping but uh, <clears throat> I think it'd be a good idea to uh, to at least have now this is if this if this is something something huge and that shuts everything down <clears throat> excuse me and there and there won't be a restart to it maybe never uh before some other stuff happens or unless you take something uh called the mark of the beast where you you know if you can't you know buy or sell without that um at least you know just just for the, to the sake of have something that to to cover yourself, have at least maybe a month's worth of canned goods and uh, water uh, to uh, to get you through some kind of a uh, disaster, natural disaster, or something that might, you know, attack the power grid and uh, shut everything down. And uh, there too, uh, speaking about water, <coughs> excuse me, there was somewhere else that the water was poisoned. Uh, last time it was in West Virginia and uh, <clears throat> and they were for two weeks, I think it was around two or three weeks that they couldn't even take a shower, wash any clothes, definitely not drink the water because it was all poisoned. Um, you know, there are things we can do to help that if we still have water, have any kind of water, boil it, use iodine tablets to, you know, to kill all the bacteria and stuff like that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you know, if you can't get out, if you know, if, I mean, if you've got, if you all of a sudden, if you've got a hiding place and and there's there's radioactivity everywhere, then that's going to wherever you're where, wherever it is you're held held up in, that's going to be your tomb. I'm just plain spoken. That's what you know. I know I know this seems dreary, but people, these are the times that we're living in. You know, we've been in the birth pains that the God's Word tells us about for quite a while now. And it's just getting it. It's accelerating and more and more and more until finally one of these things are going to happen. And as I said, I want everybody to be aware and keep an eye on things. Just don't keep your head in the sand. Keep your head up in the clouds. Keep your ears shut up and your eyes closed. Pay attention if you want to survive something. And if you don't, I guess, you know, you can just not do anything you know really have sort of have a fighting chance at maybe survival but uh, but I, what I, I what I said just a couple times earlier yeah I, I, you know Lord come quickly we don't have to worry about anything like that but we shouldn't be surprised if it does come to us comes home to roost as the old saying goes uh, because you know I, I think a lot of times we as American Christians think that we're that we're above all the rest of the world as far as Christians go and uh, you know even you know definitely both those those poor Christians that are getting beheaded and shot overseas no we're not above that <laughs> we're not above that kind of tribulation we might have to face something like that now how are you going to face it are you going to walk into it keeping your eyes fixed upon the Lord are you going to be like Stephen who saw the Lord standing 
the right hand of the Father. Said, Lay not the sin to their charge, you know. And he, you know, stoned, gave up the ghost, but he was with the Lord in heaven. And that's exactly, uh, if it comes down to it, uh, however it is that I'm going to be taken out of here, if it comes down to something like that, I want to be able to say that. Lay not their sin to their charge, because I'm coming home. Anyway, any rate, let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, another high-profile global vaccine conspiracy exposed. This time, it's the HPV vaccine. Give me just one second here. Don't want to sound paranoid or anything like that, but uh, no, especially since I'm, I've started reporting on many of these things that we talk about. Uh, <laughs> no, my machine has uh, been doing kind of odd and funny things, <laughs> but I'm not going to be paranoid. Uh, I'm sorry, scene is just moving slow. <clears throat> but anyway, this is uh this is what I've talked about while this is trying to load. Uh do I talked about uh uh, you know some of the vaccines that we believe uh, are actually uh, you know healing us of certain things actually putting more stuff uh, you know uh, bad stuff <laughs> we'll say in our bodies uh, it's, you know it's not enough that uh, it's not enough that we uh, breathe it in the air due to chemtrails or uh, have uh, genetically mo uh, modified foods and the stuff that's in our foods uh, that's given a lot of people cancer. You know, we've just had what three, uh, two actors and a singer that's that's been reported that's uh, died of cancer, uh, and that's that's just who gets reported. You know, the just the laypersons who knows how many, but even even yesterday or even this morning that have died because of cancer. Uh, but well, you, well you, there again, you just. You don't know it because they've never done a, a study like that and maybe all these people die of this well no they've they've started taking you know uh, uh tolls for who uh, who has you know who's had cancer who's been diagnosed with it and uh, uh you know on point yeah sure this was not reported on many 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 years ago but uh it's 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 definitely increased in the last few years and like i said it uh, uh no doubt in my mind whatsoever that uh that's what we're breathing and what we're eating in our foods um what can we do about it Whew. well you know well y'all asking a bunch of hard questions this morning uh <laughs> best thing i can tell you and we know that prayer works is to give thanks and pray over pray over your food uh you know if, if i drink any deadly thing it won't hurt me i think that goes along the same uh lines as that it can be sanctified in uh in prayer uh but you gotta have the faith you gotta have the faith to believe that it can't just be a quick you know you know uh, show some sincerity mean it you know think and think about that when you're praying about this and talking about this food you know what if what if there's something in this is put in there on purpose to give us types of problems and think about that and pray over it because the Lord can take all that I mean yeah he, I, that's the power of prayer people if we if we're Christians we believe that prayer works then absolutely we can pray and uh, the Lord can uh, 
bless that and sanctify it. So, at any rate, uh, a lot of these pages are, are being attacked and hacked into and taken down. So, uh, you know, that's uh, another reason why, you know, to, to be weary and be leery of some of these things. Uh, as I said before, uh, people like myself that uh, uh, report on stuff like this uh, really and truly hazard our lives because if we keep spreading stuff like this and talking about it, then uh, you know they could. The, the loudest thing they could do would be to shut down your internet account, or you know something like that. Worst thing is some things I've heard about doing is people being. If it's something serious enough, people being assassinated. It's, it's happened. Look at all the bankers that died last year. I think it was in the in the 50 or 60 range. Bankers that knew that stuff was coming. The stuff was coming this year. Uh, uh, you know, some uh, there again. You know, just you know, were happy and had you know. Wonderful lives, happily married, it was, was positive about everything. But all of a sudden, after, say, a, a lunch break, uh, a normal lunch break, we go up to the top of the building and jump off a building and commit suicide. Others took, you know, took a gun to the back of their head and shot themselves four times, committing suicide. Um, so you, you. If you get into this type of information and stuff and start talking about it, you're in their crosshairs. You know, but we've got to have, we've, you know, we have our life for the cause of Christ. As I said, you know, other people around the world are doing it. The apostles of old did it. They didn't let the fear of death, and they didn't really have, well, who knows if they, if they even really had the fear of death. They knew the, the, so see the first century. You know, uh, well people, well the people that walked with Christ, walked with the Lord. You know, uh, but you know if they were they were still human, so it, you know it might be, uh, you know they had a fear of death and but knew you know they were going to be with the Lord, but they were going to have to experience you know even some you know had uh, uh, were told ways they were going to die. Guys, you have to excuse me. I have to get one of my cats here. It's just trying to get on my nerves. Uh, but at any rate, uh, let's move on. Uh, don't mean to get, kind of get bogged down, but uh, anyway, talking about some of the stuff that's in the stuff that we do in our air that we breathe, in our foods, our vaccines. Who knows what all is going on in there? Uh, you know, it. Uh, you know, one of these days, you know, we'll know it. Uh, you know, if it, it really and truly, and if we don't, it doesn't matter to me, and it really ain't gonna matter because all things are, the old things are passed away, and all thing, all things are gonna become new. Um, FBI wary. Well, let's see. Hang on. I actually, no. Let's. That's why one thing I was talking about. Uh, it said, click on this. It said, "Would you drink this?" People of Flint share horrifying pictures of the water they were told was safe as they turn on their governor and uh, this is uh, from the Daily Mail uh, dot com UK and let's see showing pictures said that's why the title of it said would you drink this and it shows a picture uh, well it shows a woman holding that well and this is uh, Flint Michigan uh, kind of see see alternative newspaper da the Daily Mail from the UK reporting this about something going on in Flint Michigan uh, they're facing a uh, health health crisis because of the water uh, that's visibly Y'all to see it one, uh, well, nice way to put this in. And the, the same color coming out the tap that's pouring. Uh, one looks like the one coming out the faucet and one of the bottles looks like a, uh, a, a bottle of tea. 
and the, the other bottle just uh, excuse me but it looks like some some someone has used the bathroom we'll say that that's what the that's what it looks like and this is what in Michigan that's what the water uh, it shows even when the a guy open a fire hydrant and it's blowing out it's 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 you know a, a water that that wide you know a little over a foot by blowing it out it's the same color as tea uh whew, man uh, see that's exactly what i was talking about uh that's just not <laughs> people you know when, when people report on stuff these people get, and I'm sure I, I've, I, the same has been said about me, that I'm just promoting fear, fear porn, as they call it. Well, this is right here. You got this, this is going on. Look, you can look at it. You can see it's got pictures. It's showing it. Uh, it's a public health crisis. The water system is, is, is poison. It's, it's, you know, uh, and, you know, the people are turning on their leaders and you know, said, you're letting this, why are you letting this, or, you know, I guess y'all have got bottled water to enough to survive something, but we ain't got nothing. Uh, you, if, you, if you saw the pictures of this, you definitely would not want to wash, wash clothes in it, and definitely, beyond even before that, would not want to shower in it or drink it. It's horrible. Um, but that's what I was saying. Uh, if nothing else, if nothing else gets you a supply of food, canned food, and it may be even alternative ways to heat it. Maybe you know, like one of those little camping stoves with the propane tanks, and at least a month's worth of bottled water. And uh, uh, I said maybe even you know, you and in the camping you look at, at Walmart in the camping section, you can get those little bee, uh vials of uh, iodine pills to put in the water to purify it, kill all the bacteria and everything. With this, I, I don't think all the iodine tablets in the world could make this look better. Uh, but anyway, you know, at least have a month's supply worth of stuff because something like this could happen. It did in West Virginia. Uh, you know, could happen in a town coming near you or your town. Uh, horrible looking. Man, I didn't realize when the... Uh, the news article it was talking about just how bad that looked. Uh, man, it was orange, just nasty. Uh, let's move on. FBI wary of ISIS threats against UFC fighter. Uh, Extreme Bray, his name's Tim Kennedy, uh, said Tim was also lead spec ops investigator on the History Channel's Hunting Hitler, which uh, the History Channel chose not to show all the threats and evil done against he and his teammates. Now, here I'm not going to spend much time on this right now, but there more and more there's more and more evidence that's mounting, and I, I don't know if we'll eventually ever even hear really the truth, but there's a lot more evidence that's mounting that uh, Hitler did not commit suicide. Uh, like we're, we've all been told in the history books and stuff like that, uh, that the body, body that was taken out that was supposedly him was actually a female body. Uh, I haven't, I haven't personally looked into all that. Uh, I've just got kind of the bare basis. It's just been something that's really just been kind of on the back burner compared to this other stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, there may be something in my spare research time that I'll look into and find out uh, but uh, as I said there is mounting evidence that he did survive and was scooted off somewhere else uh, we certainly know that the their agenda is still very much alive and uh, you know we do know a fact too that a lot of the uh, Germans that were escaping some of them or not some of them a lot of them because uh, the Catholics supported the cause because why? Because they were they were killing Jews, anti-Semitism, uh, and the Catholic Church um, took a bunch of these men, these German men, in, and that are priests today that are 70, 80 years old or 90 years old, if they live that much, if they live further, and they're the ones that have been involved in these 
uh, pedophile rings and in these satanic ritual abuse cases uh, even once a priest called the Catholic Church had become the seat of Satan so at any rate uh, I, I'm gonna end that right there uh, that's maybe something somebody out there might want to look into it's hey I, I'll you know I love stuff like that look into it you know I, I want to know truth I don't want a bunch of mirrors put around me and you know stuff and bunch of holograms and you know stuff that's illusionary illusionary I, I, I want I want I don't want to get the full core of the truth about things. Uh, even stuff like this, really and truly, does it matter? <laughs> uh, uh, this news story, does it really matter about that? Uh, the, 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 the things that, uh, the echoes of it that's continuing nowadays, talking about the uh, pedophile rings and satanic ritual abuse, yeah, those, those do. But as far as Hitler being swept away and it wasn't him, that committed suicide and he actually survived and now he's dead or something like that you know big whoop uh, but I'd rather concentrate on uh, people being hurt and that agenda the Nazi agenda still going on that I know is still going on they're still trying to find their uh, you know and create and uh, <clears throat> backbreed to the Aryan blood you know the the tall, blonde hair, blue eyed, perfect looking human, you know, the the they call it the Uber mention, the Superman, the Uberman. Uh, but at any rate, let's move on. Uh, the uh Oregon militia is still going on. Uh really surprised and I think maybe this is why they're doing this to get in the news quite a bit more. Uh, because in in the past, I believe uh, like if everyone remembers what happened on uh, Ruby Ridge when uh, some family made a standoff against you know uh, government agents and uh, you know eventually you know they they got them out of there uh, uh, with uh, and uh, the, uh, the David Crash and the compound and uh, uh, you know when he locked in and had a cache of uh, illegal weapons, you know, uh, automatic weapons, uh, non-licensed, and uh, you know they eventually, the government pretty much set fire to the place to burn them out. Uh, but uh, there's not a lot of uh, <clears throat> really truly meaningful news about this Oregon standoff, about these people, and I'm sure, and this is something I, that's you know that's been reported in in the standard news talking about that so if you want to find more information about look at you know about the Oregon standoff about uh, these people that uh, you know set fires to their land to keep it safe from an actual forest fire uh, starting on their property but accidentally ended up burning up some an acre or two of federal land got put in prison you know one had a uh, one had a year's time in prison the other four months when they were released federal judge said no they don't have enough time and put them back both I think both of them for four more years yeah you tell me that's not abuse of power burned a couple of acres of federal land and then go to jail That just went all the way from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. And I, and I wave anger, and I don't like feeling like that. I, talk about abuse of power. You know, didn't, it didn't even mean to do an accident. And they've been going back and forth saying, hey, look, we need to burn this. We want to burn this area of our property so that it will be protected against wildfires. That's what they do. No controlled burns. They they've done that. They've done that here in Tennessee for many years now. But just because they they let it get a little bit away from them and got a couple of acres of federal land, oh boy! My goodness, that just uh, at any rate, that's that's basically what that's all about. If you want to read about it. Uh, they're having the a militia standoff. I'm really surprised something big hasn't happened on that yet. But you know, hey, all eyes, and <clears throat> they're doing this on purpose to get as much press as they can on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they uh, 
they uh, haven't went right in and uh, just you know burned everybody out or uh, gunned everyone down or uh, <clears throat> excuse me given an ultimatum about uh, you know the sheriff come in you know told them they needed to disperse you know the system we're going we're going to try to work things out we're going to try to make it peaceful guys need to disperse well you know we're still doing the standoff and uh <clears throat> i uh in thought and theory and the way of thinking uh being you know feeling, you know being a patriot i'm, I'm still 50 50 on this whole thing uh i'm sure that's the, I, I, I mean I, I suppose that you know in, in these this day and time that's the only thing that, that will get and it definitely will get the government's attention uh, but also it's something if something does happen could something could uh, it take it'll take a spark and it could cause end up causing a bloodbath on both sides so uh, you know some people may fall at me for not just keep putting throwing throwing my lot in right with the militia and, and you know that's doing this and stand behind them uh, I do stand behind our rights uh, our constitutional rights and uh, I stand against the tyranny of uh, the government that we have um, but uh, this doesn't seem to be any right way to handle it. we can't work for one reason because the politicians can care less what you want you know you have representatives you know that uh, you, know, you, you know send them send a thousand letters and all you're going to get is you know so thanks for replying and we will address this as soon as possible and do da do da you know uh, that's just politics and that's politicians they're not in it to serve you they're not in it for public service uh, I don't believe most of the time a single a single thing these people say or put in signs or commercials I can't stand these commercials at, at the very end this was paid for by a committee to elect such and such guy walk around you know showing how a big family man and showing him walking out of a church and showing him working hard on his land and stuff like that and pff, uh, politicians are politicians they're in it, for, in it for the money they're in it for the power they're not in it to represent you so uh, I'll, I'll I'll keep my the rest of my comments back from that because I, as I said that's very uh, it's a very dicey situation uh, I'm not at all for the government doing what they did especially that federal ju judge that so that was kind of over over that was overkill except very much overkill to do that uh, but at any rate uh, it is it stands and we just got to wait and see what happens uh, I'm, I'm not sure I need to need to look and do a little more research on it but uh, there were there were other uh, militia groups I believe I believe from other states that actually come and contacted them and said hey we're going to, we're coming up there with you and we're going to stand with you uh, I'll say this as government our government being as tyrannical and evil as it is I guess that I would stand I would stand with the patriots and the people uh, that are for our rights and we want to take our country back. Uh, you know, we we had we we had a revolutionary war to get out from under tyranny. Uh, do you want to have another one? No, nobody wants that. I've said before, and I know you guys are saying, but I don't have killing or murder in my heart. Uh, I do have self defense in my heart. I will defend myself and my family and loved ones, from friends. Uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ uh, but anyway I'll leave it at that right there uh, for everyone to look at and make your own uh, have your own thoughts about it and you know just think about what maybe put yourself in, in that position and really think about what you would do to be honest I haven't really meditated on it very much uh, but I'll say this I, I am against tyranny by government and I am for being a patriot and fighting for our God-given rights. So there's there's my 
little <laughs> my thoughts on that and that's that's all I'm gonna say on that right now um, well here is what I was looking at or looking for earlier I'll go ahead and read that uh, Um, Walmart continues sharp and focused on portfolio management. 20 stores in Texas. Notice the stores are in the south and primarily states known to be conservative. That's kind of funny because I remember a while back, I think I, I'm pretty sure I'm fairly certain I reported on it because uh, people had pictures of it in video. In Texas, uh, two times, two long trains full of United Nations vehicles were was passing through their railroad areas through their through their town yeah pic, had pictures of them video of them they were UN vi, tan color vehicles UN logo on the side they were passing through there and yes he uh, he's correct uh, states primarily owned to be conservative that's what they're they're uh, they're, uh, they're aiming they're, they're in the crosshairs next thing is what I was trying to find earlier it says welcome to the new normal the Dow crashes another 390 points and Walmart closes I'm sorry it wasn't 150 164 it's two, 269 stores wow that right there should tell people that something is going on if you look at that and say eh nah you don't worry about it. Uh, then you then pff, you really need to pull your head out of the sand, get the sand out of your ears, and you know, get in the game, do something. You know, be of use. <laughs> don't just sit there and let everything overtake you. You know, especially if you're a father, if, uh, if you know uh, a leader of some sort. Uh, you, know, you need to t take charge and think about this stuff or research this stuff look in it you know people people with, with families are going to have their hands full enough if something bad end up, ends up happening and I can name several different things that, that could happen but I'm you know no point going into it that because all of it may happen none of it may happen one of the things may happen but at any rate uh, that uh, that was kind of a shock there. Uh, Two hundred sixty-nine stores. I could have swore I, it was uh, it was around one hundred fifty, uh, one hundred sixty. But at any rate, um, I have to listen. There's two more articles about this guy that was a Green Beret and he's a USC fighter, uh, ex uh, ex Spec Ops uh, Green Beret, uh, talking about the. Uh, the, hunt, the special hunting Hitler uh, I'm not sure why all that's really, all of a sudden just started coming out uh, other than all the stuff that we've talked about uh, like the satanic ritual abuse and the pedophile that the stuff that these priests did the ones that are turned out most of them that were actual Nazis uh, and just the uh, you know they say it's about I'll say Catholic brothers and sisters in Christ they believe that Christ is the only way. Doesn't believe, you know, Mary. That is Mary's a co-redemptrix. That you have to go through her as well to gain salvation. No, uh, but uh, you know, as I said, the uh, the priest. <clears throat> that's uh, it's gone now. He's passed on. Uh, that's another one that uh, there's a good chance that he just not, did not die of normal causes because he liked to. Uh, Tell what was going on inside the Catholic Church, and he called it. He said it to become the seat of Satan. Um, of course, everyone knew about the uh, uh, twelve missing after two Marine Corps helicopters. I don't know if anyone's heard about that or not. Crash off uh, Oahu's. I think it's how you pronounce it. North Shore in Hawaii. Uh, background sources maintain that these helicopters were taken out and that begs the question is why and who ordered it uh, that's where the story stands right there and that's one of those things that uh, you'll probably never if, everything is put under training actually accidents oh this happened it was part of a training accident and you know that's everything you hear uh, is that that's what's told um, 
So, at any rate, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Warning to U.S. military and federal LEOs. Do not follow orders to Waco, Ammon, Bundy, occupation, or risk civil war. This is exactly what I was talking about a minute ago. Because uh, if they... <clears throat> well, think about it. it it's really going to... Uh, you know, mart martyrdom is one uh, very good way to bring an uprising up. And if uh, military and the feds go in to this uh, militia stand uh, standoff with guns blazing and, you know, kill every member, and, uh, you know, of this standoff, what's that going to do to, that's going to embolden the rest of these people out here. Uh, that are on the fence about whether they should support it or not support it. Uh, so they're, they're given the warning not to do that. Uh, I'm actually glad to see that. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping clearer heads, you know, and as a, you know, I'm talking about not knee jerking, not having a knee jerk reaction and saying, oh, we're doing this, we're going to do this then. You know, cooler heads prevail. I'm always for that. Uh, and I hope everything ends up peaceful and ends peaceful uh, but you know we don't as I said before and I, 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 so this this other piece I didn't see this piece I wasn't going to mention anything more about it. like I said you know I, I'm for our rights as an American citizen our constitutional rights and uh, you know, I am against governmental tyranny um, so at any rate moving on uh, United States is getting weaker and weaker, especially under the, uh, uh, well, it says don't give up the ship unless you're in Obama's Navy. <laughs> so the United States is weak and we are getting weaker by the minute thanks to <laughs> President Barack Jimmy Carter Obama. Well, I can, I can agree there. Uh, and let's see, let's go on here. Uh, why is the Swedish government training Muslim invaders posing as refugees to be snipers? Now some of these are news articles that I cannot open. Something's wrong and every time you try to click on them, it crashes your browser. Just saying. Uh, Muslims in Iran right now discussing how the Iranian government is going to destroy uh, Saudi Arabia well you know it's it's just a bloodbath over there you know uh, Muslim even Muslim against Muslim you know moderates against uh, uh, extreme jihadists and you know and they're all against the Jews and the Christians so uh, I hate to be <laughs> hate to be flippant about I'm not, not trying to, but what do you say uh, about it? You know, all that's in the news, and you know, uh, people are for it, wanting the Palestinian state. They're against Israeli having the land over there, even though it is their land, their God-given land. And of course, they're not going to mention or help any of the Christians over there being beheaded. Okay, uh, last last one, and we'll close this off. We're almost an hour, man. These are lasting longer and longer every day. I apologize, but there's just so much going on. And it's titled, The Backlash, Neo-Nazis on the Rampage. Uh, yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier, about the, the cause of uh, Hitler's, you know, his uh, final solution, you know, killing Jews, uh, and other, ideo other things that he did, other I ideologies he held, Especially being a, a rampant uh, member of a, a cult, different occult groups, uh, and of course, you know, uh, he was a uh, um, very fond believer in in Darwinism as well. So uh, he was very. Uh, <laughs> let's just say he was a messed up person. <laughs> How about that? We'll talk about an understatement. Um, Neo-Nazis on the rampage. Gun sales soaring. Yeah. Uh, Sue Reed warns sex attacks by migrants have unleashed dark forces in Germany. 
that have disturbing echoes of the past. This all has been scripted by the Fourth Reich, Hitler Rising, we talked about. And that's more, actually, if, as I said, what going into uh, this researcher. He is, uh, um, love to have the time and the, the resources and the money to do what he does. Uh, but he's done the research on this, and um, I'm going to get his research material and look at it and go over it. Uh, but yes, the as I said, the Nazi ideology is still very much in the government, along with the other stuff uh, that that they're part of and their belief systems. Um, and the gun sales soaring. Hey, I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. People's getting people's getting tired of it. People's getting tired of the government doing all this. And you know it, it will, honey, honey. You talk about a civil war, a new civil war that would happen. Who knows? You know the elite are up here. There is no more middle class anymore. We're all down on the lower part down here. Won't bother the upper class, the elites whatsoever to take every bit out and maybe save just a little bit, maybe to work for them as as uh, slaves. I leave that to the reader to do more research on. I just mostly come on here and if it's something I can go in depth about, I will. If it's other stuff that I don't think really, really, <coughs> excuse me, uh, be, you know, you know, no point in going into detail about them because uh, some of it is just stuff that would take another hour to really go into and really dig deep into it and talk about it and get something out of it. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I'll leave a lot of this stuff to, uh, for the listener to uh, do their own research on because that's the best way because you can get it and you read it, you can meditate, study on it, and see what you think about it. So at any rate, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Uh, as I said, we're at around 57 minutes, so it's now good grief. Uh, used to be these things were about 15, 15 20 minutes, yet, and you've seen how, how long they're getting to now, all the stuff going on. Uh, but uh, we'll try to get back on today, and um, if there's any more uh, news uh, that uh, I want to bring out and bring to service and let people check out, I'll do that. And uh, possibly, uh, not sure, we'll try to do another teaching and preaching video. Uh, a lot on my heart here uh, lately, recently, with all the things going on in the world and in the church world. And, uh, uh, you know, I just want the Lord's uh, will to be done and His word to be preached and put out there. Uh, you know, because you know we've got to get people saved. Look at all the stuff coming down upon us. You know, as I said, to quote that verse. You know, men's hearts failing them for fear for the things that are coming on the earth. And I believe that's more than just a uh, just a small statement about people's fear of their hearts failing them just out of fear. You know, oh, and they're scared to death. I think it's actually, you know, heart failure. Some things are going to happen that are going to be so terrifying and that they are going to be so much of a game changer. Some people won't be able to accept it or absorb it or believe that it's real. And they actually even physically die of heart attacks from some of the stuff that's going to happen. I really believe that. But at any rate, this is Tim once again with Word of Life Church. And, uh, that's the news so far today, and we'll we'll uh, we'll check back later on, and uh, we'll see what uh, what comes up. Anyway, uh, God bless everyone. I uh, hope y'all have a good Saturday, and we'll see you in the next video.